Okay, hello there. Um, so we've got a physics problem today. Um, it's an average acceleration problem. So uh, we've got a subway train. Uh, we're starting from rest and it first accelerates to 25 meters per second and then breaks. Um, for some reason I kind of got stumped on the wording here. Um, I didn't understand where the 48 seconds started. Um, so at this point the subway breaks and the time begins. So from this point, 48 seconds later, um, it's moving at 17 meters per second. Okay, and uh, it's asking for the average acceleration during that 48 second period. Okay, um, so this actually turns into a very, very simple problem. Um, so first, let's start with our um, givens. Okay, so we are uh, given, oh, let me get a pin here, we're given the um, initial acceleration okay um, that's V V1 okay and that's equal to sorry not acceleration I said acceleration I mean velocity okay that's 25 meters per second okay um, okay and then our V2 or our final velocity is 17 meters per second okay Again, um, I realize that in the problem, it starts from rest, but since we are looking at the average acceleration during the 48 seconds, um, we, um, we're not looking at the average acceleration of the um, subway speeding up, but of it breaking. Okay. So, um, okay, so what are we looking for? We are looking for our average acceleration, okay, or a bar. All right, um, so for our theory, okay, so for, um, this is the way I usually solve physics problems, um, you know, if this is not how you do it, bear with me. Um, theory, we, uh, I usually write um, the main equation that we're going to use. So the definition of average um, acceleration is A bar is equal to the change in velocity, or delta V, divided by the change in time or delta t okay which is also um, uh, our f uh, final velocity okay or in this case v2 minus our initial velocity v1 divided by t it would be t2 minus v1 but in our case we're already given delta t okay but I can go ahead and write that just to clarify things excuse my handwriting I'm really bad with writing with the mouse so okay so um, so that's our theory there okay at this point um, all we gotta do is just plug and chug um, so we've got our v1 okay which is 25 meters per second so I'll go ahead and write that the average acceleration is equal to 25 wait a minute excuse me 25 is our initial velocity um, 17 meters per second okay minus okay we're just following we're just plugging into this equation right here 25 meters per second okay that's all going to be divided by 48 seconds. Okay, and you can already see that this is going to be a negative number, right? Um, which makes sense because the train is slowing down, so it should be a negative acceleration. And I'm going to quickly punch that into my calculator here because I don't feel like doing that in my head. Okay, so 17 minus 25. Okay, divided by 48. Okay, um, and that gives us a total of negative, um, negative, let's see, 0 0.16, negative 0 0.16. I'm going to round to, to, to uh, three significant figures, so that would be 0.167.
Okay. And um, so our units, meters per second, meters per second over second, so that gives us meters per second squared. All right, hope that helps.